Hey, welcome back from Hidden Valley Homestead. We've got a, this, this is a fun video for us and uh, for all you guys. So, uh, we are getting a new addition to the family today and it's gonna be for her. So, uh, come along for the ride, guys. We're gonna share this, uh, share this little experience with you guys, so here we go. Welcome to Hidden Valley Homestead, where my wife Olivia and I escaped the city to homestead our off-grid property in Idaho. This is our journey. All right, guys, so we're gonna give you guys a little bit of the, the backstory there. Um, you guys remember the video that we put out uh, last, uh, about a year and a half ago, where we had gotten two Rottweilers. Well, we ended up fostering just one of them after after we had them for a week, and they were they were just way too much, way too much work. <laughs> and um, if you guys remember that video, I'll, pr I'll post a link in the top for you guys and go back and uh, take a look at that really quick. Um, but they have become, we, the backstory is that um, one of our sus subscribers uh, was encountering some health issues and, and needed, needed somebody to foster his dogs. We promised that uh, if he got better, that we would return them. And of course he did get better, which is, you know, praise God for that. Yes. And um, he is a, he's become a good friend and we are, you know, we are honest uh, people of our word and we returned uh, Barrett is what we, we, we hung on to for a year and a half. And it was kind of a bittersweet because we were glad that our friend got better, but at the same time, uh, she had bonded with Barrett. And you guys have seen Barrett in, in a lot of the videos, mm -hmm. uh, and he was just a wonderful part of the family. Um, I, I personally wanted a dog that was going to protect her while I was out and about doing my thing, um, while she's down in the garden and whatnot, because we have lots of wildlife here that uh, would wish to do humans harm. So I needed and wanted something, some peace of, peace of mind. Uh, of a dog that was going to stand in the gap for my 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 beautiful assistant here. So that's right. Um, well, they uh, the dogs returned to our subscriber, and uh, they became parents. So as part of uh, part of a a, a, f a fantastic gift to us, um, he promised that we could have one of the dogs and. That's where we're going to go pick them up today. So what we're going to do with you guys and the subscribers, we're going to open up this this uh, this adventure to you guys, and we're going to give a gift away to one of you subscribers. Uh, you guys leave us a name. It's going to be a male dog. Leave us a name of what you think would be a cool name for a male Rottweiler. And uh, whoever wins, we're going to send a gift to a Hidden Valley Homestead gift uh, to you and we'll get in contact with you and let you guys know and announce the winner in uh, After this in a couple of weeks after this video is out and we've got enough comments So you guys leave us a name for your uh, your sub suggestion for a, a male dog name and uh, So let's go. Let's go. Let's go pick him up ready, honey. I am all right ready I think oh. I know puppy's gonna be hard <laughs> But yep. I'm ready I'm ready for this adventure. Yeah, this will be fun. Mm -hmm. Of course, puppies are always uh, a lot of work at first until you yes. house break them and all that stuff. And we're not we're not ex excited about that part of it. We're excited to have a new addition right, family. Let's so. go. Let's go get them. I can't wait. All right. Let's go. All right, here we go. <laughs> all right, here we are. There's Mama. Is she flying? Is, 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 uh, I'm gonna give a there's another one underneath here. They're there's kind another. of hiding all over the place. There, there's just, two underneath the chair. Yeah, they. They just got through feeding off Mama, so they're all like in nap mode. <laughs> There's Barrett. If There's you, Papa. If you want to kind of round them all up, I can close off their little uh, gated kennel thing. Wow. There. They are almost double in size since we've oh. seen them three weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, they've my been, gosh. They, they've been eating good. Not only yeah. are they still eating Mama's milk, Aww. but they're eating dry food and drinking water, they too. They are heavy. heavy. Oh, yeah. Think about I put wow. them all in one kennel to take them to get oh their chips God. yesterday. Went to lift up the kennel. I went, oh, dear God, it must yeah. have weighed 80 pounds. They are heavy. <laughs> yeah. It Look was, at He's big. He is a Which big. one's that? This is the black one. Which, the which black, black with the black with, it. with Oh, the that's line. Dash. I call him Dash. Yeah. Oh. Because there's another one with a black. Co they don't have yeah, enough different colored one. collars. <laughs> that's adorable. Yeah, I think. Gosh, they are. 
heavy. Yeah, yeah. I think Dash and Black, or, or Midnight, whatever you want to, mm -hmm. you know, um, I think they're the two biggest, but Blue Boy has really come on, too. Yeah, where's that blue one? Yeah, he's around somewhere. Oh, he, I think he went in the candle there. To, to get oh, out. goodness. Oh, yeah. Oh, puppies are so cute. Yeah. There. Oh. Wow, they are big already. Holy smokes. Oh, these are, oh. These are fantastic, Olivia. Look how wide yeah. both of their, their heads are. Look how wide his head is. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna have fat heads like Daddy. That's great, big block head. Yeah. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, Daddy. these are the these that are one's the three got a males. Huge head. Yeah, yeah. I, I call, that's why I, my nickname for Barrett is Meathead. Yep. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know how you how you want to pick, honey, because they. They're all, they're all Well, like, why don't you take them outside and let them run around and you might get a little idea or whatever. Or... I don't you know, I know the, the one time we picked out our lab for her, you know, it was, she, the lab just crawled up and just, it was like instant bonding. And we walked home with her. <laughs> yeah, well, why don't you so. do that and kind of play, you know, yeah. if you go outside with them and play with them a little bit. Do they? Yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll run go around outside and, now? Huh? You've let them oh, outside yeah, in now? Fact, I kind of developed I saw a little that. dog door. <laughs> Because I've been trying to, you know, what you know what you said really worked. I didn't even think of it. I thought, gosh, why didn't I think of that? And so what I did is I turned their kennel around mm. and started putting them in it at night. Mm -hmm. They stopped pooping in it. Yeah. And then as, they soon, as, quick. as soon as I opened it up in the morning, I, I make Hi. Bella go out first. Hi. And they will just Hi. run outside to chase Mama for that milk. Yeah. First thing in the morning. Yeah. And, and, and that kennel training all. is fantastic. Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah, it's yeah. the way to go. Anyway, they poop all over my deck, but the deck is really easy to clean up versus my floor. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, no, I hear you. It looks awesome. Oh, good. Huh? Yeah, Bella's okay with that other bones around. Yeah, she. Oh, there he goes. These... Yeah, they can go up and down the stairs now. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> they're, you know, they're following Mama around. Yeah. Aww. Come on, guys. But yeah, you can tell they're gonna have short snouts, and big fat heads. And... Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yep, there he's peeing. Pee it on my deck. That's yep. fine, as long as you're not on my floor. Right. So cute. Absolutely adorable. Oh, this one's a chewer. It's already chewing on my pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm afraid they're probably all gonna do a little of that. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Lots of chew toys gonna be oh, in their future. Oh, you think it's so cute? Brothers. Hey guys, this is our subscriber, and uh, we're just gonna call him Rot Dog for, uh, for, you know, you know why. So uh, he's been a fan. Jake, if you want, I don't care. <laughs> call him Jake. I, like, Either way, I, I doubt anybody's trying to, like, on the on the interwebs is trying to track me down. <laughs> You'd be surprised, but guys, this is part of the whole uh, YouTube community that we've just enjoyed up here. We made a lot of friends on YouTube before we even got up here. And, and we got to know each other and became friends. And when it when it came time to talking about a dog and how Marley wasn't being a good guard dog, he had left some comments and then reached out and we started emailing him back and forth. And that's how we became friends. And come to find out, he'd been a Rot, uh, Rottweiler canine tr trainer, yeah, handler, handler yeah. for many, many years. And yeah, so he back in the nineties, he was really instrumental in us uh, invited us to come over and meet Bella and. Um, and yeah. Barrett, and he was really instrumental in us learning about the Rottweiler breed and that they were an amazing, amazing breed. And come to find out, that's exactly what we were looking for for the homestead to keep Olivia safe. So, so thanks to uh, thanks to Jake here. Um, well, he needed somebody to, to foster his dogs for a while, and uh, if if he was going to be able to have the dogs back, he asked if we could have them back and. We of course said yes because you know we, we honored that re re request and we're good on you know good honest people and and he is healthy now today thankfully and we're we're praising God for that and so but it was still like I said a bittersweet time when we brought you know uh, we brought uh, Barrett back and uh, we were sad to let him go because he really bonded with Olivia but the whole Roddy Rumble thing we got used to and Olivia fell in love with the Rottweiler and so well he said you know for uh, for for bringing back his beloved dogs, if they happen to become parents, that we could have one of these uh, 
beautiful dogs here. We can come and, and, and get one from him. So here we are today, guys. And so we're, we're grateful for Jake and what, what, uh, what he's doing here. And uh, if any of you guys are interested in having one, you guys live in somewhere close in North Idaho, these are fantastic dogs. They come from a real clean line um, of, from a breeder that their temperaments are just absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. So he's yeah. got some more. If you guys are interested, you guys uh, email me, and I'll get you in contact with Jake. So thank you again, Jake, for for just what uh, you, you've taught us and taking the time and, and patience to teach us about these dogs because they're – We've fallen in love with Rottweilers at this point, and that's what we need to have on the homestead for yeah, sure. So. Well, 35 so. years with Rottweilers for me. So my children and my grandchildren were raised with Rottweilers. So, yeah. But yeah. Uh, but thank you guys for being so kind as to you know watch my pups. You know when uh, when man, it's like you know when well, I was we really in a we bad sure I was really in bad it. shape. Yeah. Well, so. I wasn't sure I was going to make it either, but yeah, we're glad you're you know, here. So. Here I am. Yeah. God provides, and yeah. So Mama gets to have her own, and this is this is her dog. It's not mine. This is hers, you guys. So <laughs> <laughs> we're bringing you guys along yeah. on the journey. On this is a fun adventure, and yeah. uh, it thanks broke, to Jake for that. It broke my heart when I went. You know, when I, you, I met you guys at the church. To pick up Barrett, and I could just see, I could just see <laughs> Olivia's <was> face. <laughs> oh, were you mad? No, I wasn't mad oh, at you. she was really she, bummed. Was yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, she. I could just tell she was so <laughs> broken hearted. And I was like, oh man, I was like, no, I felt so that bad. We're glad. That <laughs> oh my goodness, are you happy, honey? Yep. You got your new little buddy there. I think so. He's, uh, two weeks. He is already <laughs> snuggling up with Mama. Look at that. All right, get your new protector. Yep. All right. Sure do. Tired, huh? Not yet. Look at that little tank. Oh. Where'd he go, Marley? Where'd he go, Marley? Cam. Is that Marley? Oh! <laughs> sit. Marley, sit. Sit. Going to mama. Well, we wanted to bring you guys on this journey. Our lives have just changed dramatically with a new child <laughs> at the house. So uh, sh hopefully this little doggie is going to bond with Olivia, be a very good guard dog. But we need a name, guys. So you guys throw it down in the comment section. And over the next couple of weeks, we'll uh, check out all the comments. And as they start rolling in, we will uh, we'll pick out a name for the little guy here. <laughs> and... Uh, and whoever we pick, we'll announce it in a couple of weeks and go from there. So thanks, guys, for watching and following our journey up here. And this is part of being off grid and out <laughs> here in the wild is uh, we've got to have ourselves somebody to something to stand in the gap in yep. case there's danger. So thanks for watching, guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye.